merciful God. Kapiye si alagbara giga. The Lord that is called I am that I am. The Lord that is called the Rose of Sharon. The Lord that is called the Life Giver. I thank you this morning. I give you a praise. Tell him, Lord, I'm grateful for all you have done in my life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. I welcome you to the presence of your Father. This morning, I can see the glory of the Lord upon your life. And I see the power of God touching you mightily. In the name of Jesus, love that person. Say, I love you. I love you with the love of God. I see the hands of God upon you. I see the power of God upon your life. Tell that person, let us praise God together. I can't hear what you are saying. Tell that person, are you ready to praise my God with me? Hallelujah. Maybe seated in the Holy Ghost, God bless you. I'm saying good morning to everyone under the Son of God through me. And I pray that God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. I want to welcome you to our month of breakthrough. I only have a few words to tell us in this month of breakthrough. And you know that God of breakthrough will touch your lives. Can I hear that? Amen. Be louder. Today, by the grace of God, we are doing two things, three things, dedication, two dedications, and a naming ceremony. <laughs> Hallelujah. Clap your hands unto the Lord. So whenever you see this happening, it's to tell you that God is with us. Can you shout Hallelujah. Can that hallelujah be a loud one? Hallelujah. Tell someone to say, I love, I love the Lord for what he's doing here what he's doing. and what he will do in my life. Shout it very loud. Say, I love, I love the Lord for what he's doing here and what he's doing in my life. Shout out to him, man. By the grace of God, next week Sunday is our convention Thanksgiving. And you can see it's smelling in the church already, right? So the glory of God is just the to test run how we are going to be in our sight. Praise the Lord. So where we'll get, where we'll call our home. I want to appreciate everyone, the anniversary committees. This is one of the wisdom from them, from that team. Uh, later, after their meetings, and uh, some people that could stay. When they come into the meeting, we have to sit together and discuss something of this nature. I pray that God will be with you in Jesus' name. Today, I'll be talking on a topic which I tie to my season of breakthrough. Can you allow me by shouting the louder? Say, it's my season of breakthrough. Can it be more louder? Somebody, I think it will shout, is not shouting it. Can it be more louder? Say, I enter into my season of breakthrough. And nothing will stop it. In the name of Jesus. Say, I enter into my time of breakthrough. And nothing will stop it. In the name of Jesus. Say I enter into my realm of breakthrough. And nothing will stop it. In the name of Jesus. Say I enter into the atmosphere of breakthrough. Nothing will stop it. In the name of Jesus. Say I enter into my season of breakthrough. Nothing will stop it. In the name of Jesus. 
Shout loud a hey, amen. I'll be taking my text from the book of Genesis chapter 26, verses 12 and 13. Father, we thank you this morning. We appreciate your wonderful words. Thank you for whom you are, for what we do in today's meeting. I ask Lord Jesus that you speak through me and touch everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Genesis chapter 26, verse 12 and 13. I want everyone to read this scripture with me. Can we read it very loud, Santa Claire? One to go. Then Isaac saw in that land and received in the same year an ordering fold. And the Lord do what? Nobody know if it's January. February, March, or December. But in that year, that same year, that same year, I want to point out some things that make this man to sow in that land that same year and reap bountiful offering or then present increase. Number one is focus. Here it is. You might know God very well in as much that or as you are formating fire, but if you are not focused in what you are doing, you will not read increase. Can somebody say the power of focus? I want to connect this word to thanksgiving. Because whenever you reap, that same, you, you, you sow that same year, and you reap abundantly, even more than hundred percent of what you have sown, you know what happened? You need to thank God. So here it is. There are lots of people that God wants to touch today that are going to be people that will thank him in advance. You are not shouting amen. amen. Now, say the power of focus. Number first thing that the Lord did in the life of Isaac was to so bless him because of what? He was a focus man. Now, let me say this to you. There is no one that start a thing that you see or represent increase in starting. You need to see it in mind. When you are laying hands on something, don't believe that immediately turn around the second day. I want to see what I've labeled for. This is the reason the MMM have to come and take away a lot, a lot of people reaches away. Because of what? We needed what? Money that we have never labored for. What do they do? When you give this one 50,000, that person will give you 100,000. What have you worked for? When I look at their arithmetic, I discover that the MMM people, they are not getting anything. I have to call myself back and say, oh, there is something here. This is dangerous. They didn't get anything. They, you, you are giving 20,000, you are receiving 60,000. What is their gain? Their gain is the hand that they will, they will defraud you. But this man Isaac saw in that year. Can we go back to that scripture? Bible said that he saw in that land a strange land. A land that is being known for farming. A land that is being known that year as a land that is not going to be productive. It looks at that. Number one, what? What is that called number one? Number two is opportunity. It makes use of the opportunity as at that time. Anywhere there is farming, you will discover that there is not any, everything that can yield increase in that place. Even in the time of lack, what did he do? He changed the system. But eventually, what was selling in that place before was rice, he changed it to beans. He was not doing what they were doing in that place, but he brought about what they are not doing in that place that will make things a change in that place, and it happens. Because of what? He heard God saying to him, Leave where you are, go to another land. And in that place, I will bless you bountifully. 
I see God blessing you bountifully. After today, I see God blessing you bountifully. I release the anointing of breakthrough over everyone. In the name of Jesus. Why am I saying this? By Thursday, the cross present clock another year. So it's our year of Thanksgiving. But what the Lord promised of this year is breakthrough. I want to tell you, if you work with this world, your vision, your focus, you, 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 you claim opportunities that comes your way, you understand something great will happen. I hear this verse 13 of that scripture. Can we read it together? Genesis chapter 26, verse 13. Let's also read it together very loud, and clear. One to go. And the man was great and went forward and grew until what? It became very what? Great. Now, the problem of a lot of people is by the time they have little riches, they relax. But three things that happened to him, he never gave ye to lateness, weakness, or laziness. He was not a relaxed man. Something happened in that place. He was a great man. Number two. He went forward. He never stopped at the greatness. Number three. And he grew because of what? He moved forward. What next can I do? What next can I do? Where else can I go? The land is open before me, but I have not seen every opportunity in the land. What next can I do? What is the situation in this country? Because the Lord has me to come here. What is the situation in this country? Because the Lord is saying, go there. Here it is. If you have little riches and you are relaxing because of that little riches, I want to tell you, you are not fulfilling the will of God. You have a lot to do. Majority of people are facing difficulties in their business and in their career because of one thing. They are not focused. They are always happy when little thing comes into their hands. Don't forget if you have 20 million, if you, if you spend one naira from 20 million or one dollar from 20 million, what happened? It has reduced from 20 million. And if they are not careful, if you used to dip hand in it every time, you will discover that 20 million will come to thousands. And the story is, devil, devil. If devil can open your eyes to see that he's not in charge of a lot of problems you are passing through, you will not blame devil again. Tell somebody, say, be focused. Say, look within. See what something other people don't see. Then tell that person again. Say there is opportunity. For you. Anywhere you find yourself. Say you can get something. Better. Brighter. Lighter. Important. Than what you think. That you have gotten. Can I hear you tell that person. Let's shout amen. And this man moved forward. And he grew. And became great. My fourth thing that this man did, he refused to look down on himself. Anywhere you find yourself as a man or a woman, the first thing you need to look at is the opportunity. Now, last week, throughout last week, or was it last week, or week before last, I was uh, on a mission for a crusade at OAU campus in Oshun State, Nigeria. Then the DSS that went in with entourage with us, with Mopo, I discovered that before we get to where we lodge, the security guys will have opened the gate. Do you understand? Why? Because immediately the DSS got to that place, they do what is called surveillance. They check every environment. 
and they relax. I know there are the security guard in that place. They will have put him onto a common law of nothing shall happen here until we give you order. Because immediately they get to a place, they turn to the principalities in that place. They will lead us. The other in charge will go. The Mopo will come and the rest. But I just discovered that. That before we get to the entrance, the doors are opening. I said, wow. Because of what? They have already searched around and see the possible thing that may happen. And they have seen way out of it. So if you have to break through this season, use this mentality. Search within. Look at what other people don't do that you can do and give you what they don't have. Am I speaking to somebody? Look at what other people neglect and all you need to do is to accept it. If you want to break through, there is nobody that breaks through in laziness. You wake up today, you sleep that same day, you wake up tomorrow, you sleep again, you wake up next tomorrow, you also go to sleep, nothing than to eat. Hello, you can never break through. A man without motion is the one that turns to emotional pit. Any man will make use of it, he'll just be using it anyhow. You must be a man of motion, a man of focus, a man of understanding. You must see beyond you get. Before you get there, you see it. I've discovered people are complaining. People are still complaining. People will still complain. They have been complaining before we are born. People are complaining when you are born. People will still complain when you are no more. Because of what? Complain is what other people don't pay money to do. We are coming from Ibadan yesterday. And a man was disturbing us with on. And I said to the pilot that took us. I said to him. Let him on. You know why? On is not removing anything from fuel. Is it not true? As a matter of fact, one of the easiest things in your vehicle is to do pa 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 because of what? If it has to have linked to the gas, you discover people will not be on it too much. I'm believing one day they are going to have a vehicle. Anything you press will affect your gas. They say, bum, 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 bum. That is the problem of a lot of people. They have nowhere to go. Immediately just cross the way. We look at it. Is it not this thing that we will live now? Do you hear me? But a lot of people are always in a hurry to know where. The man was not in a hurry. He was a patient man. Isaac, because of what? He knows that one day I will get to where I am going. Let me ask some people here before I round up. Let me ask you a question. How much do you think you can make in a day that will satisfy your day? Can you answer that in your mind? How much do you think you can make in a day that will make you to satisfy that day? How much? Now, the money you taught in your heart now that you are going to make in a day, have you got in that money this month? Then, another question is this. What can you do to get it? Is there an assignment? Write it down. Work on it. Write possible things like five things that might make you to get it. Five things. How much do I, do I think I can make in a day? What is the possible means of getting it? Can I make it in a month? 
Hallelujah. So this man got riches and he managed to raise it very well and the Lord blessed him. Even the kings, in anywhere he go, they envy him. A total stranger. Oh my God. I pray in the name of Jesus, anywhere you go, God will make great opportunity for you in the name of Jesus. When you go to verse 1, the Bible says, And there was a family in the land beside the first family. That was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Jirah. There was a famine beside the first famine. Now it's not a season of famine, right? Eh? How many of us know that? But you know a lot of people are passing through famine season. I pray today in this month of breakthrough, the heavens will touch your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you be standing, please? I want you to speak to your hands and tell the Lord, Lord, this month of breakthrough, anything I lay these hands on, let it work for me. Don't shout. I want you to think and see it working. Think so well. Tell God in this month of breakthrough, let my hands be blessed. Lord, in this month of breakthrough, bless the works of my hands. Lord, in this month of breakthrough, let people know me for the best. Lord, in this month of breakthrough, let everyone that I assess bless me. Lord, in this month of breakthrough, let your grace work in my life. I want to be greater than Isaac. Teach me how to be focused. Teach me how to be connected. Teach me how to know you more. Teach me how to understand you better than before. Lord, give me the power to be focused. Make me a man or a woman with great understanding. Bible said that money has started all things. I want you to know that you need riches in your hands. Lord, let this hand bring riches for me. Let this hand bring riches for my life. Lord, let this hand bring riches for me. Lord, let this hand bring riches for me. Lord, let this hand bring riches for me. Lord, let his hand bring riches for me. In the name of Jesus, I enter into the time of riches. Abundantly, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let his hand bless me. Let his hand bless me. Let his hand bring about good news for me. Lord, I will not lack every opportunity. That good news needs to offer me. So I say it to the Lord. My hands are blessed with the blessing of the Lord. Anything I touch must be blessed. Anywhere I go, I turn to blessing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.
I pray for you. I want your amen to be louder now. Anointing for breakthrough. If your amen can be louder, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. What other people spend so much money to get? You will get it with your phone call of hello. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I enter into the breakthrough that God has given to the Cross Christian Center. And I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Before the doors open to other people. You will have entered into the place of achievement and announcement in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray as I command. By the power of the almighty God. The sound of your voice will bring for you riches in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now if you are there, there is deadness in your body. Nothing is working in your body system. I pray in the name of Jesus from today. That dead thing will be over. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anointing that we announce you as a superhero. The men and women will start looking for you. How they will bless you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing. Oh my God, can that and amen be louder as I receive the anointing? Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive the anointing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive the anointing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If Isaac can sow and receive double. My I procured him a suitable and I pray in the name of Jesus, anything you lay your hands on, receive increase. Aha, uh -huh, double increase. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 42 verse 9 says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. A new thing do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Let me tell you your new you in the name of Jesus. The Lord say, we tell you before it will come. I pray in the name of Jesus, if you are cutting with somebody, you will get your own house. Amen. If you are here, you have been denied of visa to any country. By the next time you will go, the Lord will give you access. Amen. Oh, you are not shouting it. It's our year of access. Take access. Amen. Oh my God, I say take access. Amen. He said, before it happens, he will tell you, Everything you have lost to ignorance. I pray in the name of Jesus, receive them now. Aha. Uh -huh. I say, receive them now. In that area where nothing has been working in your family, who is the next person to carry the flag of the family of achievement? I pray in the name of Jesus, something great will start happening in your life. Get into the place of your business from today. Higher the areas. The Lord Almighty will open you door for you in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will open doors for you in the name of Jesus. If they does not struggle to break. Take note, I want to use the covenant. If they does not struggle to break. I pray in the name of Jesus, every one of us including me, we will not struggle. If nine does not struggle to come. I pray in the name of Jesus, every one of your amen can be louder. You will not struggle. Amen. I love that amen, but I want it to be louder. I said you will not struggle. Amen. Now, every altar of struggling that have been, have, have, been, have been established over your life and your family, that is making you to do what you don't love to do. What you are doing is what you hate. If your amen will three louder amen, you can shout it. I pray the altar is collapsing. In the name of Jesus. Hey, man in Jesus' name. Because it's our city, altar 2019. The place of altar is the place of summoning. The place of altar is the place of assessment. The place of altar is the place of blessing. The place of altar is the place of cursing. The place of altar is the place of freedom. The place of altar is the place to tie down. The place of altar is the place of sacrifice. The place of altar is the place of increase. The place of altar is the place of command. 
The place of altar is the place of release. Place of altar is the place of access. The place of altar is the place where you fought decree and it come to pass before you enter there. I pray in the name of Jesus. This altar 2019, I pray for the one that we shall let amen. Heaven shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Heaven of business shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Heaven of marriage shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Heaven of judge shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. That family that you have been struggling to pay your children's school fees. I want your amen to be louder than the other people. You are seeing why you have been even for a long time. I declare by the power of the Almighty God, as you are entering into this new week, let God pay for you. Amen. Hear what the Lord is saying. The Lord is saying it's not only school fees. I will also make them to laugh because I will decorate them. Amen. So that person, because it's our season of breakthrough, enter into your season of decoration. Aha. Enter into your season of decoration. Whatsoever that God sees in you that is making God to be pleasing with you. My Ariaza, keep polluter. I pray in the name of Jesus that thing will not stop. Amen. Thy amen is not louder. Amen. Isaiah 41, verse 13 says For I am the Lord. Thy God, we hold the right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Anointing for help, if your amen can be louder, let it rest on your party in the name of Jesus. That amen is too small. I say, Let it rest on your party in the name of Jesus. To everyone that we shall have amen, grace for help, let it rest on your party in the name of Jesus. I want everyone to lift up your hands above your head. I command by the power of God, anointing for help, Kapoli Masoto, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, you receive it in the name of Jesus. So the one that we shall let them and say, I receive anointing for help. I fear no more. I receive grace for help. I fear no more. I receive power for help. I fear no more. I receive right for help. I fear no more. Can everybody shout help of God? Shout it very loud. Can it be more louder? My life is available. Fall upon my life. Shout out the hammer. As we are living this mountain today, receive help of God. So shall it be. Jesus' name we pray. Please, you may be seated. God, show me somebody. They are sewing your clothes. It's been torn. The Lord is saying, I'm taking out the sin of reproach from you. And I'm making an amend of your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, a woman is claiming it. Everyone that has mocked you will come and tell you what they have said about you. Because of the difference you begin to make from today. Oh my God, can that hear me be louder? Amen. So when they come to tell you the Lord is saying, forgive them. Are you hearing me? This is what we have done against you. This is what we have spoken against you. The Lord is saying, don't count on it. Because I'm the one that have worked it. Hear this. How can you arrest somebody you did not bring? The person you don't catch. How can you arrest a person? They are walking to you and they will tell you, this is what we have done. Please forgive us. I hear this, not only that, they are bringing trespass seed. Your trespass seed might be in millions. Your might be in thousands. Your might be in material things. But I know your trespass seed must be more than phone. Somebody is not shouting it. Yeah. You need phone? Eh? Okay, it's the iPhone you need. You don't need anything. If phone is what you need at this age, you don't need anything. Are you hearing me? I say you want to use iPhone to connect to the business world. 
want to use a big Android to connect to the business world. You need better than phone. Are you hearing me? You need house. Don't you want to be a landlord? You need marriage. Don't you want to marry? What else do you need now? You need to go back to school. To go and study mom. That's what you need. Is it not true? So everything, every good thing you need, that the heavens have signed up, he said, declare it, I will do it according to you have said it. Let the Lord Almighty confirm it in your life. And your testimony will come. Oh my God, you are not sure. I say your testimony will come. I say your testimony will come. In the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. I want to say I love you with the love of God. I see the power of God upon your life. People watching online, I love you. Can everyone shout, say we love you, people watching online? Say keep on watching. God bless you. You are connected to us anywhere throughout the world. We love you by the grace of God. And I know that the Lord that you have connected to here will bless you. In the name of Jesus. Before we go ahead, we have several activities today. As I've said to you, we have two Thanksgiving baby dedications, right? We have the birthday celebrant, uh, wedding anniversary celebrant. We also have a naming ceremony. You can look as all of them just look gorgeous. When you look at the money factory, look at the money factory. Where is the money factory? Who is the money factory among them? The husband. The husband are the money factory. The wives are the money spenders. Just look. Can the camera pick them? No, pick their clothes. You can see their attire. Now pick their wives. Church will tell us what did they see now. What do you see in this woman? Pick the husband now. What do you see in this man? Okay, pick the next person now. What do you see in this woman? You know, do well. Pick another shot on that woman. Aha. What do you see in this woman? Pick the husband. What do you see in the man? Do you see who is the money factory? Uh -huh. Who they spend down? Okay. Now pick the next family. No, one, 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 one. Pick the woman first. Aha. Look at the woman now. Is she not beautiful? Pick the husband. Take the, collect the white shirt of the man. Praise the Lord. Can every woman here stand up first? Let's celebrate our husband. Say, my husband, I celebrate you. If you are not saying it, you are a suspect. I love you, Jerry. Oh, yeah, say it now. Some people are not even standing up. God bless you. Sit down. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate the man. How you decorate your wife today. God will decorate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. How do you know a man is a rich man? Look at the wife. Do you hear me very well? When the mind of the wife is relaxing. Some of you, women, you know, women, they might know they relax every time. Is it not true? But God will give you rest of mind. And if you're a man that you are giving tough time to your wife in the house, go and change. Go and do waiting. Mm, go and change. Let's listen to them. The language of I love you every day is good though for women. Women, I know they like them. You love you, Tabi. God bless you, my daughter. Language of I love you. Ah, you go elsewhere. My God. My God. My God. I know none of them fight their husband before they buy this cloth. Is it not true? If now you buy that cloth by yourself, when you reach out, tell your husband, say, Pastor, say you must buy my own. Let me buy this one. But don't say it openly when you are talking. So, so therefore, for December, none of us must trouble our husband though. For December. Is it not true? Eh? When I say this cloth, not be this one I need, not that one I need. There is future than the picture. Is that okay? There is what? Than what? But that does not give man 
a warrant of making your wife to look like no man's wife. If anybody wants to assess you now, if they don't even see you, they say the husband must be a rich man. And don't ever claim to be poor anymore. Because it's our season of breakthrough. Is that okay? It's good food. There are depression now everywhere. Take yourself out. My father and the Lord said something. Say, eat. When you go to eat tree, he said, eat. Don't finish it. Let them come and pack it. Say, do it like this. He said, you are proving something. Amen. Then I come and do what? Don't break those bones. After this year of breakthrough of the Cross Crusade Center, a lot of us begin to experience a lot of good things. Is somebody shouting amen? amen? So people are here, you are going to receive quick notice. Lord is saying to me, he said you are going to receive quick notice. There are three people here. So when they give it to you, think of other alternative to get to a new house. He said, I want to chase you away out of, I want to chase you out of that house to give you a better line to follow. Amen. So when you receive it, landlords that are here, be careful how you give quick notice to people. Many landlords will have their house selling to their tenant very soon. Wicked landlord must sell their house. Is it not true? I'm speaking to the landlords now. Don't be wicked to your tenants. I pray that God will bless us in Jesus' name. It's a season of breakthrough, so you break forth. Anywhere you go, have it in mind. As you are going out to your business environment tomorrow, go out with bold mind. Is that okay? I'm coming back to my house with abundance. Is that okay? And make sure you are not fighting your spouse. Don't fight. Men, let us wake up. There's no way you can enjoy your wife if you are fighting your wife. You cannot even enjoy your marriage. Some men are still babies. They are still waiting. But boy, they're supposed to sit and take vida. Come and vida for one leg. Come and fix one leg. No. Every time. When they mess up, their wife just cook vida and put it in their mouth. Say, my husband, now vida you need now. You don't need solid food. Do you hear me very well? So let every one of us wake up. Is that okay? Let's be nice to our spouse. And you see what God will do in our lives in the name of Jesus. These are the things that the Lord has me to tell the church. Okay? So please, let's be good to everyone. People online, you can also get this right. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. And I you shall break through. Shout it again. Shout it louder. I'm not hearing any women shouting it to. Shout hallelujah.